It's like I hate it, but then... Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host, Steph, and today I'm going to show you how I make a refreshing pumpkin spice drink. For this recipe, you'll need nine cups of water, one and a half cups of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, two tablespoons of pumpkin spice, two tablespoons of vanilla, and two cans of pumpkin. And for those of you that love your pumpkin spice drinks with a little bit of cream, not to worry, I'm going to show you how to do that towards the end. Place your burner on a medium heat and add four and a half cups of water, brown sugar, white sugar, pumpkin spice, two tablespoons of vanilla, one can of pumpkin, and because I happen to love cinnamon, I'm gonna add a stick of cinnamon to enhance that cinnamon flavor. Now combine all your ingredients and continue cooking on a medium low heat for 25 to 30 minutes. I've gone through several brands of pumpkin and let me tell you, using the organic brand is gonna give you a better flavor for your pumpkin spice syrup. You're gonna get that pumpkin flavor. It's not gonna be overwhelming, it's gonna be subtle, and it's just gonna be absolutely perfect. It's been about 20 minutes, and I'm gonna to continue to cook our simple syrup for another five to 10 minutes without a lid. And what I mean by that is that you're gonna keep an eye to see how thick you would like it. Mine's just about there, so I know I'm gonna end up cooking for another five minutes, but it's really gonna be up to you. Go ahead and turn your burner off, and now it's time to strain our simple syrup. And when your simple syrup is done straining, you're gonna be left with a little bit of a puree. You can use this puree over your toast. You can even put some in your yogurt. It's gonna be up to you, but don't get rid of it. To your blender, you wanna add five cups of water, one can of pumpkin puree, two cups of pumpkin spice syrup, and now you want to blend until smooth. And boom, done. It's really up to you if you want to strain your refreshing drink or if you want to keep the pulp. I just find that by straining it, it's a lot more refreshing. And if you want a little bit of sweet cream for your drink, you can add half a cup of half and half, your desired amount of condensed milk, a little more of your syrup, one fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream, and you want to blend it till it's nice and creamy. And boom, done. Who's ready for a taste? I like to take my syrup and place it into a nice container. And then once it cools off, I keep it in the refrigerator. Uh, for me, it lasts about a month because I go through this quickly. Uh, but for you guys, it might last, I want to say, two to three months. This refreshing drink is for a sophisticated palate. If you love pumpkin everything, you're gonna absolutely love this refreshing drink. Whether you decide to add some cream to it or just drink it straight like this, you're not gonna regret it. I absolutely love it. It feels like a holiday in a cup. It provides a lot of comfort to me. So I hope that you guys like my take on this delicious refreshing drink. Uh, absolutely delicious. I mean, we have to have the kids taste test it for you guys. It's like I hate it, but then I like it. <laughs> okay. What no. about you, baby? Same thing. All right. Now give it a taste with some cream and see what you think. Mm. I wonder if you hate that you like it. <laughs> I like it better with the cream. With the cream? So what cream. would you say to our friends that want to try it? Put cream in it. Put cream in it? And I say, don't put cream in it. I like it just like this. It's a smooth drink. Same. And when it's hot outside, I don't want any creaminess in there. And this works perfectly for me, but you heard it from the kids. So it's gonna be up to you. Make sure to tag us and let us know what you guys think. You gotta say bye? Oh. Bye. Bye. There's vitamins in here. You just have to finish it. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> As always, Cod and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.